hey y'all welcome back to another vlog a block cover vlog and in this video i'm just gonna show y'all what i packed in <clears throat> excuse me my hospital bag um it's gonna be very short because i didn't pack much but i'm just showing y'all especially the new moms that you don't have to pack a lot because they have a lot of the things already at the hospital so this is my third pregnancy by the way and it took me a minute to figure out what i need to pack because i'm like what do i need to pack but i'm just gonna show y'all what i got so but before i show y'all that i'm gonna show y'all jackson's um diaper bag i'm kind of out of breath because i just came up here from downstairs so, Jackson's going to make his grand arrival on tomorrow. I am so excited. But anyway, so, I'm going to show y'all Jackson's new diaper bag. Here is his bag. I love it. I love the color. I have, for some reason, fallen in love with the color green. All shades of green, but especially this, I think it's olive. But this is his new diaper bag and it's a pretty good size bag it has the different compartments in it <clears throat> then it got like a little storage area there and a little pocket area here again we got some more storage You can put like some diapers, not diapers, but some bottles in there if you like going on a quick trip. Then it got <clears throat> the side zippers. So it's a lot of storage in this bag. So, and then, I know I thought they were pockets. Well, it's a side zipper right here. I don't know if it will go in there. Probably some diapers if you want to or wipes but yeah i got this from amazon the name of the brand is called etronic etron etronic it looks like it's been a used bag because like the letters kind of faded but it's okay i don't care and then it also i'm sorry about the glare guys my phone is not the greatest but anyway then it came with like this diaper changing mat for if you're out in public and you don't want to lay your baby on just anything. And it came with the bottle bags. So you can put you a few little bottles in here. If y'all are out and about or if you're going to daycare, etc. So that's his bag. I don't know if I'm going to take his bag to the hospital because I had packed goodness I can't zip it up anyway I'll fix it I had packed our stuff in my bag because he honestly is just gonna need a couple of outfits that's it but let me get my stuff and I'll show y'all okay okay I had to sit down y'all all right so first things first I had grabbed hold on I had grabbed me some mouthwash. If my hands are ashy, I apologize. I just washed my hands, but got some Listerine. And I got me a little smaller Jergens lotion. Got me a little smaller deodorant. I'm trying to get my face in it. Then the smaller Vaseline. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I got I'm trying to make sure it was body wash. Just a little small body wash, child. A little small body wash. Mm. And a little small toothpaste. Now I do believe that they have like most of this stuff. 
but I just prefer to bring my own. Sometimes the hospital stuff is not all that great. Um, I noticed I'm looking this way, I should be looking that way, but oh well. So yeah, that's my toiletry stuff. And of course I'm gonna have um, my toothbrush, but I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put that in my bag tomorrow when we head to the hospital. <sighs> and I'm so out of breath. All right, so moving along. I realize I got a lot of his clothes in here, but I'm just thinking about the times when he may or may not have a little blowout. Their, oops, their bowel movements really aren't that extreme that early, but if he spit up, whatever. I just bought, I just packed extra clothes. I really hate having one side of this camera is, but nothing is going right. <sighs> Alright, so I got him some bibs. I just grabbed like, I just grabbed four of them. You know, I'm just a better safe than sorry person. <sighs> he may not need it, he may need it, but anyways, got this one. It says mini and mighty. I think, yeah, mini and mighty. Trying to get my face out of it so I can focus. And then, <clears throat> this is just a regular schmegular bib, but it's still cute. And then this one says little man. Yeah, little man. And then I love this one that says, hello, I'm new here. <sighs> my kids are being so loud downstairs. But yeah, this one says, Hello, I'm new here. I like that one. <sighs> and then I got these little mittens that go on the, his hands. I grabbed him a few little socks. Just like three little pieces of socks, I mean a pair of socks. Burping cloth, you know, if you know, you know. Um, This is such a cute outfit. It says little brother. So he's gonna wear this in the hospital. If they allow it, because I know most hospitals are different. I remember when I had Jaden, I had packed him some outfits, but they didn't want me to put any clothes on him because of his navel. You know, when they cut the umbilical cord, they like they just, just let it air out. But it was cold in the room, so I was like, I'm gonna put some clothes on my baby. But if they would let him wear it. He's gonna wear this. Gonna be one of the outfits. And when I had Aubrey, they didn't care if I had her some clothes on, so I had put her a few of the outfits on. Then, <clears throat> this all the outfits I got? Oh no. And I got this little onesie. It comes with some pants, too. Thought those were cute. Look how small they are. These are newborns. So little. Okay. And this will be his little go home outfit. It's just a little cute little. These are the pants. Got the little footies on the bottom. And this top to go with it. I thought it was cute. It was like $10. Just something very simple. Not extra. And a little hat to go with it. So cute. And <clears throat> I had packed just a couple of these little onesies. Just to look a little backup thing. So this is it can be used as a burping cloth, but I think it's also used as a bib. He won't be using this as a bib anytime soon, maybe when he gets older, but I'm gonna be using it as a burping cloth. So, I think my mama never got me this. And it's another one right here. So, that's his stuff. And then I have a blanket. A blanket right here. That's so cute, got little sheeps on them. And it's so soft. I washed all this stuff Saturday. 
so everything is good and clean so I might I might put this in his diaper bag and then I might I might get myself a little duffel bag all right so that's all the stuff that I put in there um like I said if you are a new mom um you don't really need to pack any diapers wipes no bottles not even pacifier unless you want to pack a pacifier but diapers wipes and bottles and stuff they provide all this stuff um diapers and wipes are uh, like i said are provided if you are formula feeding they will have you those little bottles that are already made up um this with formula if you are breastfeeding i would probably suggest you bring your uh, pump but I know that when I was having Aubrey, they let me use a pump. Because at that time, I didn't have a pump. But it's up to you. Um, I do have a pump. I need to clean that pump out. That I'm going to bring. Because I do want to try and do a successful, have a successful breastfeeding. Or successfully breastfeed my baby. So, I'm trying to do all I can to do, to make sure that you know i can breastfeed <sighs> all right on to my bag like i said i didn't really know because i forgot what to pay oh i got a pacifier right here um pacifiers they do provide as well i do know that when Jaden was in the hospital they used to have those green round pacifiers and he did not like those he did not like those i think Aubrey did but i couldn't remember but i still brought her pacifiers because of the fact that when Jaden was in the hospital, he didn't like those pacifiers, so I opened these up. Um, I need to clean them, but but these are the pacifiers that I got that I'm going to bring for Jackson. They're the Nuke brand. Isn't that cute? So cute. So, it's three of them in here. Like I said, I need to wash them before I I need to wash those and I need to wash some bottles. Um, Cause even though I do plan to, to breastfeed, I do want to exclusively pump because I don't want him, if the breastfeeding goes well, I don't want him to just get used to my breast. I want him to get used to bottles and I would much rather him get used to bottles than attach to my breast so that it won't be, I guess, as hard for him to, to feed when he's in daycare or in somebody else's care, like my mama and daddy's care, or whoever else is babysitting him. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let me get to my bag. So I didn't really pack me any outfits, cause I mean like why? I just got me some gowns, this is like a muumuu. So like last year in November around Thanksgiving, um, I lost, well before, like a week before Thanksgiving, I lost one of my aunts and <clears throat> um, her husband, my uncle, had gave away a lot of her clothes. And I mean, these gowns are, they're bigger, but they're so comfy. So I got one of her moo-moos. I got one of her moo-moos. Um, just to wear because i mean like i yes they have the hospital gowns but like people come by to visit and you know i just don't want to wear those gowns around people you know what i'm saying um then i got this gown my mama had also bought me some gowns um so that one doesn't have buttons in the front, so it won't be as easy for me to just, you know, whip my breast out and breastfeed. Um, I'll have to pull the whole thing up, but it's okay. Um, then this is another one, just another little duster, and it has buttons in the front. So it'll be easy for me to breastfeed, you know. And then I need to pack me like one more, just in case, because like, Sometimes, especially if you're a C-section person, um, you stay in the hospital two to three days. It depends. With Jaden, I had to stay in there a little bit longer because I had developed an infection out of nowhere. Like, I had a fever and everything. And um, couldn't leave until my fever broke. So, then with Aubrey, I could have left at two days. 
but I ended up leaving the third day because at that time, Jay's grandmother had died. And so he had left the hospital to go and get ready for his grandmother's funeral. And at that same time, my mama and daddy were on their way to the hospital with me and they were gonna come until the next day. So I had to stay the next day. I had no choice. So, but yeah, so I might, I'm gonna pack me an extra gown in there or an extra dress, whatever. Um, these house shoes, my mama bought me these from Walmart. They are so soft and they were only $10. Yep, only $10. This is the Joy Spun brand. I like the Joy Spun brand. It came from Walmart. <clears throat> Excuse me. It came from Walmart. <clears throat> and they have gowns. They have a lot of sleepwear stuff. They have gowns, robes, pajamas, house shoes. And all of them are soft. All of them are soft. I have so many of Joyce Bond brand gowns. Uh, T-shirt gowns. And then this dress is nothing new. None of this stuff is new except the house shoes. Um, it's just a regular go home dress. I wear this whenever, whatever day I go home. Yeah, I've seen the picture of the dress. I posted it on my community tab. This was my baby shower dress. Just came from Walmart. Something very simple. And I think that's all I have. Nothing else in this bag. But that's pretty much it. You don't really need a whole lot of things. Um, all I would say is because like you really don't even have to pack clothes except go home clothes um because you know you don't want to go out naked of course um you don't really have to pack you don't have to pack any underwear oh speaking of that i showed y'all this yesterday i'm not going to take it with me tomorrow i'm not going to take it with me because they give it to you in the hospital anyway back to what i was saying you don't have to pack any underwear because they give you disposable underwear and pads because <clears throat> if you have a C-section, you bleed. And I'm pretty sure if you have vaginal birth, you, you bleed as well. I didn't get to experience vaginal birth. All three of my pregnancies were C-sections. Um, but I think women who have vaginal birth also get those as well. Um, so you don't have to pack any underwear. If you pack some bras, I suggest you pack some nursing bras or something kind of light um, that's not going to be too harsh on your breast. Um, I do need to get me some nursing pads. We'll just get that when I get to the hospital. Um, I don't feel like going with it right now. Um, so yeah, undergarments, you don't really have to worry about that because they give you that in the hospital. Um, and that's about it you just need to go home after it honestly and if you want to wear your own comfortable pajamas or gowns you can um highly recommend if you are a c-section woman or a c-section mom um wear gowns don't wear any pants because you don't want anything rubbing against your incision or anything like that so it took me a minute to wear pants but i had my first two just because you want to give you want to give it time to heal the doctors will tell you how long i want to say two weeks at, at least um but even then i still wore dresses because i wanted to be sure um but yeah that's all i have y'all like i said i do have my toothbrush i'm just gonna pack it in the morning after i get myself ready Oh my gosh, y'all, it is happening. Oh, and make sure you pack your charger. Don't want to leave that. Um, and yeah, so right now what I'm about to do is pack my kids back. Um, they're going to be back and forth with my best friend and my parents. Um, so, because <clears throat> there's no room for them to be in the room with us. <coughs> So, but anyways, y'all, that is it. And I do appreciate y'all so much for tuning in. Keep me in your prayers. Baby Jackson is on the way. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.